Hi everyone, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and I'm a diabetes expert. Now today I'm going to talk to you about erectile dysfunction, super common in men. In my clinic I deal with that pretty much every day. And today I will talk to you about why erectile dysfunction happens in men and I will talk to you about your treatment options. Let's get started. So erectile dysfunction is very common. It can happen in men even before the diagnosis of diabetes. So erectile dysfunction happens as a result of damage to your arteries and your nerves. Now, as you can imagine, diabetes does the same thing to pretty much every other artery and nerve in your body. So actually, if you have erectile dysfunction, there is a good chance that you may have other arterial problems. So basically, the blood flow is not enough to give you a firm enough penis to have a satisfactory sexual intercourse. So what do you really do? Um, so if it is already at that stage where you're experiencing erectile dysfunction, you may have to look into a few things. Number one, you have to control your diabetes and get your diabetes under control. But not only that, you have to also control your cholesterol and you also have to control your blood pressure. So I sometimes watch some doctors saying that, oh, eat salt, salt is good for you, or just eat all the grease and eat steak every day. That's not going to help your erectile dysfunction, okay? So your sugars may be okay eating steak every day, but you will still have erectile dysfunction. So let's get this uh, straightened up. So you have to control your blood pressure, control your cholesterol, and control your blood sugar at the same time. It's like a, a little tripod. If you do not fix one leg, you still fall. So you have to make sure that you fix all the legs and you control all three conditions at the same time. Now, what are your options? Number one, talk to someone. Don't be shy. Just talk to your doctor. Say, hey, you know, I'm not happy. My wife is not happy. You know, somebody's not happy. Let's do something about this. What can you offer to me? Uh, also, make sure you check your medications. Make sure you, you ask your doctor, hey, is there any medication that's affecting me? There are some antidepressants that actually a lot of people are on can cause erectile dysfunction. There are a lot of blood pressure medications that can cause erectile dysfunction as well. So you have to kind of make sure that your doctor is paying attention to your medication list to make sure these medications are eliminated if possible. And of course, you may want to seek counseling. If you have a lot of anxiety, stress in your life, sex may not be your priority anymore. Yeah, yeah, you will say, yeah, I'm not a 20-year-old anymore, but you still have a life, you know? Like, you have to make sure that you are not ignoring yourself and you're not ignoring your anxiety and your stress, and asking for help is not always a bad option. Now, let's talk about the options, what you need to do to get that fixed. Get this going, buddy. Now... So, number one, of course, everybody knows this, but I'm going to give you a couple tricks here. Viagra, Cialis, the most common uh, drugs that can help the erectile dysfunction. Of course, you can use, um, you know, over-the-counter stuff if you, uh, uh, if you like, but um, typically we use Viagra or, or, or um, Cialis. Now, some people take um, Viagra, for example, anywhere from 20 milligram up to 100 milligrams, depending on how much they need. Some people just need 20 milligrams, some people will need 100 milligrams, and they take it a couple hours before the expected sexual intercourse. Now, um, sometimes it works like that and sometimes it doesn't. And interestingly, sometimes people take the medication every day. It could be 20 milligram, 40 milligram, 60 milligram, 50 milligram, whatever it comes with, you can use it every day and sometimes that works better. And some of my patients actually will take the drug every day and will take a few extra before the expected time as well, which also increases the chances of working. So if you started taking Viagra one way or the other, or Cialis, and it didn't work for you, just don't trash the medication. There are other ways you can try to make it work. And of course, always make sure that you're informing your doctor what you're doing with your medication. Do not do anything based on my video only. Make sure you get your doctor's consent because your condition may be different than somebody else. If the pills are not a good option or they're not working, uh, sometimes people who are on nitrates, for example, should not be taking together Viagra and nitrates. The nitrates are a certain chest pain medications that 
uh, may be used and if you have that condition together you may be very you may have to be very careful with these drugs now if these are not an option for you if they're not working then you can use suppositories or even needles there are some suppositories you can insert through the penis uh, or you can actually uh, use a injection that can give you a locally immediate effect and can give you a firm penis yes a needle into the penis is not the most sexy idea or uh, uh, the most fancy idea but uh, it is uh, an option and it works your third option is vacuum we call this a penis pump if you wish and it basically sucks the blood into your penis to give you this firm penis uh, it is an option. Yes, it's again not the most um, uh, sexy option, but uh, it is something to consider. Uh, it's better than nothing, right? Well, the last option is penile implants, and I think uh, it is. It sounds like a drastic option, and, and uh, yeah, it is a drastic option, but uh, it is an option. I even had some patients who came to me without diabetes asking for implants. I'm like, you're not in the right place, buddy. I don't do that kind of stuff. I'm an endocrinologist. I'm a hormone doctor. So that guy was just looking for some other purposes. But in any case, penile implants can be an option if you are having problems and everything has failed or other options may not be good for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give a thumbs up and share this video if you are comfortable with it. Talk to you later.